We're here again with Jean de la Harp of IRC interviewing Dumisa Dlamini. Am I saying that right? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you please introduce yourself shortly? Okay. Yeah, as you mentioned, my name is Dumisa Dlamini. I'm from Swaziland. I'm working from an, for a water utility uh, called Swaziland Water Services Corporation, which is a uh, 100% uh, owned government Paris data. Yeah. And I'm Jean de la Harp from the IRC. Welcome, Demisa. I'm interested to know how you're using GIS to account for infrastructure in Swaziland. Thank you. Um, actually, in, in I come from Swaziland, as we've uh, we already mentioned. Uh, being within an African state, one of the major challenges we have is the fact that uh, we need to account for all our infra network infrastructure. As you know, as a water utility, we put on our infrastructure on the ground and then for us to be able to, for, for our service to reach uh, our consumers and the public. So we are using GIS now to actually identify uh, the exact location of uh, the infrastructure, like pi pi the piping, including the meter connections, um, and it's actually uh, working out for us well because it's uh, it, it's providing valuable service to us because we can account at the end of the day for all our infrastructure and we can also make some future decisions, uh, like in terms of uh, when we need to do some upgrades or maybe like. If there is a certain period, for instance, you have to keep some of the infrastructure, like the meters, you need to, after a certain number of years, you need to replace them. So you've got to know and account to where, where each one is at any given point in time. Yes. So it sounds to me like the system is helping you to look at existing structure and also see areas where you need to scale up. Is it being used in terms of the MDGs and how you're progressing against the MDGs? Um, yes, in, in terms of the uh, minimum development goal. Yes. Um, yeah, at the moment, it's, it is a, a tool that can be used for actually for a number of things. So uh, there is no limit in terms of uh, how you can use the uh, GIS. Uh, in, in our area at the moment, the, ma well, the major focus is on the actual the, in our infrastructure, accounting for our infrastructure. And uh, as I say, there, there is no limit. Yeah, we can do it for so many other things. Yes. Does it play a key role in uh, operations? You've mentioned the maintenance side. Is the system also assisting to look at the whole operations and the cost of operations? Yes, uh, it does uh, 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 allow room for that as well because uh, when when you are you, you know exactly where any anything is yeah in terms of uh, like we, we that's what we are enjoying we have a total control of the system because we know where everything is so we can be able the position to optimize the system and uh, you know and. Uh, Make do some analysis work using the, uh, the GIS technology. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just at the moment there's no limit in how you can utilize that system. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You're welcome.